All right, you've all been requesting it. You wanted to see the self tanning routine that I do in order to get a nice glow about my pasty white body. We're gonna get into that. We're gonna do it right now. Hello, my friends. So many of you were asking what products I used and if I had done a self tanning routine. And so I thought I better bring one to you. You know, I'm going to get you hooked up no matter what. I will take care of it. So what we're doing today is that video. Now I'm going to put a timestamp where the actual tutorial of that video starts right here so that you can go and skip over the intro if you'd like to. You know that many times the intro is a little bit long because I like to show you what I'm wearing and my outfit of the day. So that timestamp is here skip over it right now if you don't want to see the rest what i have on today is one of my very favorite shirts oh my goodness i have been waiting for this uh strapless bra to come so that i could put this shirt on and wear this shirt it is so dang cute it has the spaghetti strap right here that's a cold shoulder so you're getting a little bit of modesty through here a little bit more than you would normally get with just an off the shoulder and i love the cut of it it's just like this v cut and it's just so much fun very lightweight fabric and it has almost like that heathered t-shirt look to it so and it's very true to size too it does come down over the tummy and the bum if you need that to happen too just so you know that i am really in love with this shirt the jewelry today are some really cute earrings i am so hoping that these are available if they're not i will put some others that are hearts that are really close to them these are just the cutest little drop with the little bitty heart down here on the bottom the necklaces are a paper clip necklace with a herringbone right here and then a bunch of jewelry and fingernail polish that will all be listed and linked below speaking of links right here if you have never been to my channel right here on the screen i put up a number that will correspond to whatever product i'm holding up at the moment open up the description box and then look for that number say it's number three say i'm holding a tanning product number three the tanning product will be next to it the link will be next to it and you can shop that way if you'd like to. All right, let's get into finding out how I do my self tanning and trying to stay away from those dreaded age spots. We're gonna try and conquer that today in this video all about self tanning. All right, friends, the very first thing that you absolutely have to do is you have to, have to, exfoliate you have to get in the shower and make sure that you're really exfoliated well that is something that will really help your tan look even it will go on even and you really need to make sure that you're sloughing off the dead skin so my suggestion would be if you have very sensitive skin just use um you know stay in the shower for a while get your body kind of soaked you know when you soak your feet they kind of get all pruny and some of the skin will come off that's the same thing you want all that dead skin off of there so that the dry that the tanning product doesn't attach itself to that and it makes you look a little bit more mottled or a little bit more patchy. You want to be really careful of that. I have so many exfoliators that I love. The one that I love for my face, make sure you do your face too because I always do my face with whatever tanning product I'm using. My favorite is from Pixi. This is their Hydrating Milky Peel and the reason I love this is because it doesn't have any big granules in it. It has plant cellulose in it so it's just really a soft exfoliation you can use a chemical one if you want to if you want to go as far as using maybe glycolic acid the night before and then get in the shower and try to slough everything off use a good wash rag but don't scrub your skin raw you, you don't want to do that believe me i've done that and one of the things i want to show you that i have done that with and you want to be careful with this is actually a glass exfoliator tool and this is awesome because they actually called it a hair removal tool and that's why i bought it in the first place because i didn't i wanted to be able to just sit in bed and you know see if this would work or not okay it works about 80 percent on my pretty fine hair that i have on my legs but at the same time i can use this and 
it really exfoliates my legs and my legs are super soft and it gets away all of that nasty um you know the crinkly skin so you can uh, exfoliate and then hydrate and this is really good for that but i made a mistake with this and i used it in the shower and i used it on my arms and don't use it in the shower and use it on your arms or your legs or anywhere else <laughs> because in the shower it's got a little bit too much grip to it that's kind of just an fyi but this is an amazing tool you can actually see my self tanner is on it i haven't rinsed it yet but my self tanner for my legs is on it before i did this today before we go any further I'm not going to say the word, but I'll put it on the screen. This is one of those videos because I'm getting so close to 100,000, but you have to be subscribed to my channel and I will check and make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. And all you have to do is leave a comment down below in the comment section. I'm probably not going to get to all the comments because when I do this video, it usually means that I get like a thousand comments and all I can do is just put a heart on them. So you guys know, but if you have a definite question, I will try to answer that for you. One of the things is is that there are so many scammers out there right now telling people that they have won that, right? We don't want to go for that. The only way that I'm going to contact you, I'm going to announce this on another video. I'm going to be doing an Amazon video towards the end of the month. Watch for that video and that is when this winner for this video will be announced. And I will also announce you in the community tab. I will also leave my email. That is the only way that I will ever contact you. I won't contact you through an app. I won't contact you through any, any other means. I will not announce it in the comment section, anything. I want to make sure this is very secure. So if, it, if your name comes out of my mouth and comes up on the screen during the video, then you know that you won what I'm giving today to you. But other than that, don't trust it. Now, what it is, is it is this yummy bag full of good tanning stuff. So you're going to win the bag. You're going to win um, a bunch of tan towels. I think I put 12 tan towels in here. You're going to win, win an Elta MD face sunscreen. You're going to win this huge thing of exfoliate, which is her um, exfoliating product. I love that. You're going to win a full size of Lumique lotion and you will be telling me what color you want of this because it comes in light, medium, and dark. You're going to win a little boom boom cream from Sol de Janeiro. You're going to win a tanning mist from Saint Tropez and you're going to win a buffing brush from elf and i will tell you about this so that's the giveaway yes i said it but i want you guys to be able to benefit from this video and there's going to be so many giveaways from now until i get to 100,000. so we're going to boost it we're going to hopefully get to 100,000 really quickly all of the products that i have right here all of these are products that i've used i've tested i love they're still in my rotation now you did see in this right here um the tan towels so you've exfoliated and you want to make sure you're completely dry dry absolutely 100 percent dry you're going to see a little fun tool that i show you on air right here as i'm drying myself this is my little fan that i have that i actually love to you know use as my body is drying it's a little fan that folds up and it has two speeds on it and um, you can turn it off and then you can fold it up it does also have da, 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 it also has a flashlight on it so it can be a flashlight and it can also be a charger for you if you need it to be. So that's pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you that to you because that's what I use to dry as I'm drying myself tanning. Now, the tan towels come in a couple different sizes and they come in a couple of different um, degrees of tanning. Is that right? however much you want to look tan more or less so these are the darker ones and the, they have the classic and then they have the plus which is this and then i think they have an even darker one now i buy mine off of hsn and I usually buy them in a big package of them this is super easy this is just like a towelette inside of here i'm not going to open one because then i'll get it all over my hands and that would be yeah, it's just one of those things. If you don't want the palm of your hands to get yucky, you're going to have to either wear gloves or here's another trick that you can do for you that you can do is you can 
um, really rub lotion into your hands before you start anything. So you just really want a thick lotion, rub your hands really well and let it set for a second and then take a towel and wipe it off and then proceed with these. Now this big towel right here, this will do my legs, my arms, my decollete, my face, everything. And yes, you can use this on your face. The half towel, this will do my face, my neck, my decollete and my arms. So this is still really good. Both of these are awesome. I've used these for years. If you want a really deeper tan, you might have to use two of them in a row, but these are so good. And you always want to, after you're done, always please wash your hands because you will get the orange palms. Another thing you never want to do is you never want to wear your jewelry. So take all this pretty jewelry off and set it to the side, especially your rings. Otherwise it's going to settle and you're going to have a weird orange or brown ring, uh, ring around where your ring finger sits and it's going to look weird. The other thing is I'm really careful about in between my fingers because it can settle in between there too. So, you know, just kind of be, you know, cognizant that after you use these, and you want the back of your hands to be tanned, but you don't want the palms to be. So what I'll do is I'll just go in and I'll squirt one thing of soap in my hands and then I'll lather it up really, really good and take um, a wet rag that I have laying on the counter and I'll just kind of do this type thing so that the back of my hands, the tanning on it doesn't get rubbed off and it can still develop its tan. All right, so the next product that I want to talk about, and I talked about these before on my channel, the Saint Tropez Facial, Facial Mist and the Saint Tropez, um, this one is the body one. This one has vitamins and it has like vitamin C and a bunch of soothing ingredients in it. Both of these are really good and they're very easy to use. And I'm not going to open this one because this is one I'm giving away to you guys, but the Facial Mist, it really doesn't matter if you buy the big body mist or this one, they're about the same. Um, and the body one has a few more ingredients in it, like the vitamin C and whatnot that I think is a little bit better. So go ahead and purchase this big one and you'll be saving yourself some money as far as the size of that um, facial one. So this is one that develops over time. So you might want to use it in the morning and the evening. And you might, if you want a deeper tan, you might want to put two coats of it. Now, what is great is I use what I was showing you. This is that e.l.f. Big Flex brush you can use this brush and this is what i always do you can spray it on and yeah you can let it sit and i've had good success with that but you're going to get a more even tan if you take a clean brush like this and you buff it in wherever you have done now this might take a little bit longer when you're doing all of your body if you want to do you know your arms your legs you know back whatever and by the way this is nice because you can reach around your back a little bit further down to get you know the the tan down there but most of the time I ask my husband to do that for me. But this is really a good one. I spray this directly onto wherever I'm doing and I get pretty saturated with it. And then I just rub it in with this. Now I wanna show you the other towel that you can, or not towel, the other brush that you can use for that. And this brush is amazing. I have never seen anything like this before. I saw this on Shea Whitney's channel and I'm like, oh, gotta have that. This is fantastic for doing the tanning. It's got a handle, so you're not going, and that's why I actually use a brush instead of a mitt too, is you're not gonna get that in the palm of your hand and make your um, hands look orange. So that this one works really good, but this one is really great because it goes faster and it's gonna cover a lot more area a lot quicker. Now, what I fell in love with is from Tan Lux. I had one of you subscribers tell me about Tan Lux and I was like, all right, I'm going to try them. And I, you know me, I go all in for everything. So I bought the Tan Lux butter. This is the illuminating tanning butter. This is for a gradual tan. And then I bought the um, Super Glow. This one is the serum that has an SPF in it and hyaluronic acid. And this is a self tanner as well. I would say that this one is a little bit more gradual too. And then I bought the Big Glow drops um th this one is for the body but i use this on my face you can put this into any of your serums any of your moisturizers you know your body moisturizer
moisturizer and make one of these with this, just a few drops, and it will tell you when it comes. If you want um, a lighter tan, use one or two drops. If you want deeper, three or four, blah, 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 and it goes on up. So you can customize your tan with this, which I think is so good. And I love the way that this dispenses. It's just really easy. It's a dropper. And then I also have the Super Glow Body Serum. And this one is the Hyaluronic Self Tan Serum. Now, this one's my favorite one, as you can see. I'm already down a ways on it. But what I will do is this comes in a pump. And what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll put like, I don't know, eight pumps on there and I'll do an arm. And then I'll put another eight and I'll do another arm. And then, you know, on and on until you're completely done with whatever you want. This has easily become my favorite but you can layer these as well. So let's say that you want the SPF, you can put the SPF on the buffer brush and put that on your face. Um, and you know, your face is protect protected with the SPF of 30 in that one. Or let's say you want more moisture, you can use the serum or the drops. You can put more, more of the drops into this to make it more of a deep tan if you want to. Or you can use this over top of any of these products, including the Saint Tropez that I talked about. So it's really an easy routine to do. It's really quick and easy. You usually, this is what I do, I make sure I have exfoliated, that my skin is completely dry. I'll put one layer on, let it dry for maybe 10 minutes, and then put another layer, maybe like this on, or if you want something deeper, go in with a second layer of whatever else you're choosing. Now, after that, it's gonna take a little while to sink in. So I usually wait an hour or two before I actually get dressed or do anything else, put my makeup on, anything. So I do this at night um, while during the summer or however much I want to. I do it at night. I just, you know, buff everything in and just sit there and, you know, play with my phone or watch TV. Here's the other thing you can do, and this is going a little bit above what you know you normally would do with this kind of thing because i don't mind if my spots show through that you know like i said um the sun damage i did to myself but if you look at anybody that's tan you can tell that yeah they're tan they have a beautiful tan but they have you know different spots on them even if they're you know as long as they're over 35 they're going to have some sort of age spots some spots that are a little bit darker you can either choose to cover them with makeup or you can take something like the bum bum cream that i showed in the giveaway and take a, a brush like this or even take a little bit more of a pointed brush this is from do care number 15 it's just a little blending brush dip it into the cream and just dot it on top like I'm showing you. I don't even know if you guys can see that or not, but I have a pretty big spot right there that is one of my age spots. Just dot the cream on top of there and you know, dot it on there a few times, kind of rub it in a little bit and let it sit along with your hands before you're doing the actual tanning. So it's the same concept because I put so much lotion on my hands, I am not going to, they're not gonna get um, as much of the tanning product sunk into the skin. Same concept, so you can do that. Um, if you have a lot of them, if you have a big area, you know, you might it might be worth it to you, but like I said, just embrace where you are. You're so beautiful. And I know that it bothers us sometimes when we have those kinds of things, but nobody else notices them. I mean, we're our worst critic, right? Nobody else notices them and you're gonna be beautiful and you're gonna be tan and you're gonna be glowy and everybody's just gonna notice how beautiful you are. They're not gonna go, ooh, look, look at that. Ooh, that's a bad one. Don't, you know, stay away from her. She's got like cooties. <laughs> it's not gonna be like that. I love you guys. Please tell me down in the description box what you guys have decided is your best self tanner. I know there are so many out there. A couple at the drugstore that I do like to use is Jergens. That's the self tanning one and use the darker one because if I don't, the gradualness of it doesn't give me enough of a tan. Like I said, I'm going to put up a picture right here of how my tan developed over the day today so that you can see at the end of the day what I look like. Thanks so much for being with me. We're gonna throw a video up right here of, let's do the difference between contour and bronzer. I'll throw that video up right here. That's from like two or three years ago. And that way you can see um, why you need to maybe contour and bronzer. Don't forget to leave a comment down below because that's the only way you're gonna be entered into the giveaway. Thanks so much, you guys. I will talk to you in my next video and let's get this party started with getting to 100,000. Take care of yourselves. See you in my next video. Bye.